Hi guys! So today we're going to talk a little bit more about adding and subtracting with zero. So instead of talking about what happens when we take away zero, we're going to talk about how to get zero as an answer. So let's look at this. So if I have addition, Now, here's my number line. It starts with a zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When I have zero of something, right here. What does that mean? Well, that means that I don't have anything. If I have zero dollars, cero dólares, if I have zero dollars, I don't have any money. I have no money. If I have zero toys, that means I have no money, no toys. Well, I can write zero here first. Well, if I have zero, nothing, and then Astrid comes and she also has zero, what do we still have? What do we still have? Zero. If I have nothing, zero, and Astrid has nothing, zero, then we still have zero. We haven't moved anywhere on the number line. So we could say in addition that zero plus zero equals zero. Now, hmm, what about in subtraction when we take away zero from something? Let's look at that. I'm going to erase this part of our number line and rewrite it. I'm going to erase this. So if we have zero here, well, if Devin comes over, And Devin gives me five red dots. One, two, three, four, five. He gives me five red dots. So I have five red dots. Well, I'm going to circle the number five because that's what we're starting with. And I'm going to write it up here. Now, if Devin doesn't share his red dots with me, which I know he would never do, he's oh, such a good sharer, but if he never shared them, if he shared zero with me, How many red dots do I still have? One, two, three, four, five. So five minus zero is still five. On the number line, we don't jump anywhere. The difference between the number five is zero. No jumps. Five minus zero equals five. Let's do that again. Let's try it with the number four. 
I have four red dots. How many do I have? Four. I'm going to give zero to my friend. How many do I still have? One, two, three, four. So four minus zero equals four. Now, I'm going to show you how we make zero. How we show zero as the difference. What if I had four? Watch this. I'm going to write four. I'm going to draw my number line. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to circle my four. Now, What if I take away four? Hmm? Well, if I take away four, I can jump back. One, two, three, four. And what do I get? zero. So if I have four and I take away four, how many red do I have? How many red do I have? Yeah, zero. So when you have a number and you take away the same number, you get zero. You have zero left. Let's try it with a different number. So, if I have four, five, I have seven red dots. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if I have seven, I'm going to circle my seven. Now, I'm going to take away a number. I'm going to take away seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many did I take away? Seven. So let's take that away. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. What's our what's our difference? Zero. Another way of saying that, the difference between seven and seven is zero numbers. Or the difference between seven and zero is seven numbers. We're thinking about the difference between the numbers. How many numbers are in between? Well, if you have seven, how many numbers are in between seven and seven? 
right now, none. Zero. You'll learn later how to make numbers even smaller than a whole number like that. But for right now, when we think about the difference between the number 7 and the number 7, it's zero. All right. I want you to practice adding and subtracting. Adding zero and seeing what you get to numbers and subtracting zero from numbers. I also want you to subtract the same number and see if you get zero. All right. Have fun.